In the first encounter, four hikers said they encountered a large black creature that stared at them before disappearing into the gorse near Dysurf. Then, a dog walker, said he saw a large cat-like creature hunting rabbits and birds on the beach at Frith near Prestatyn. Both sightings were reported to Puma Watch North Wales, a group set up to document and investigate such encounters in the region. They have received reports from Snowdonia, Flintshire, Wrexham, Chester and Ellesmereport, and all along the North Wales coast. Now, more people have come forward claiming to have seen a creature resembling a black puma or panther. Tony Jones, founder of Puma Watch, said, Since we shared those encounters, we've had three further reports from local residents. A member of the public who asked to remain anonymous got in touch this morning to report a black panther they'd encountered on Prestatin's Barkby Bridge around three weeks ago. The location is around a mile from yesterday's Frith Beach sighting and adjacent to the town's Pontins holiday camp. This sighting took place at 6.30 a.m. on Monday, March 14. They told Puma Watch, I was out on an early morning walk crossing Barkby Bridge when I startled a large black cat with glaring yellow eyes. It was startled and turned around and ran along rail tracks. Tony added, back in May, police were called after a huge jet black cat was spotted lurking in the bushes near Prestatin train station, only around 500 meters down the line from this sighting. Another witness described seeing a mystery creature near Melodon. Tony said another person got in touch last night to share his encounter with a black panther in fields off Alt Y Greg, Melodon near Dyseth Castle. It took place early one evening in July, around four years ago. He added that this sighting took place at pretty much the exact same location as paw prints were found in January 2021. The witness told Puma Watch, it was on the west side of Alt Y Greg. It covered a distance of 50 MTRS in approximately six long lunges. It was jet black. Its tail was very long. It disappeared into gorse. I was with my wife, but she didn't see it. Finally, a woman got in touch with Puma Watch to describe suspicious remains she had seen near Dyseth. The report said, regarding the sighting in Dyseth on Monday. I was walking on the mountain above Dyseth on Cum Mountain and came across a large amount of sheep's wool in the field. It looked like the remains of a lamb. Latest Big Cat Encounters the latest reports have been added to Puma Watch's interactive map. Tony said, just a few miles further inland from Dysurf, big cats have previously been spotted at Ruolt Hill and in St. Asaph. And in September 2021, an animal matching the same description as those above was spotted on the golf course adjacent to the beach in Rill. The location was only around 800 metres from the Frith Beach sighting reported yesterday which is just a few minutes walk along the beach. Big cats such as pumas are solitary with a hunting range of dozens of miles. They are mostly spotted in Snowdonia and the Corrigian Hills but reports of sightings in urban locations some distance from these areas are becoming more frequent. A legendary big cat which has been spotted countless times has now been captured on video in one of the most convincing sightings yet. An expert has claimed that the rise in big cat sightings across the countryside here in Britain is down to the animals becoming bolder after lockdown. Expert Frank Tunbridge, who has studied big cats for years, compared the way these animals were roaming the country to the way foxes scavenge for food. The 74-year-old has reportedly received a plethora of emails and calls telling of big cat sightings, many of which have taken place across the West Country. Read more. And areas of Devon and Cornwall are prime examples. In 2021, a man came face to face with a caracal on Dartmoor in Devon. The 36-year-old said he saw a sand-coloured big cat with black stripes and black tipped ears on a short trip away in Devon. See the 1990s there have been multiple reports of big cat activity in Oxfordshire. From mysterious black panthers stalking the countryside to cats the size of dogs creeping through gardens, Oxfordshire residents have had their fair share of strange animal sightings. These are just some of the strange stories from our archives, could these creatures still be lurking around the county? Westcott, 2000 Back in 2000, 
villagers in Westcott, near Wantage, reported seeing a cat the size of a Doberman roaming the countryside over the period of a few weeks. Thames Valley Police spokesman Richard Goodfellow said, We encourage people to report sightings to us. But although all these sightings are noted, there is little we can do about it apart from offer advice about not approaching the animal. We then inform our wildlife liaison department who keep full records of sightings and potential sightings. Hinksy Park, 2001 In December of this year another big cat was spotted. The mysterious creature was described as twice as big as a domestic cat and was seen by Roy Jarman who opened the gates of Hinksy Park each morning. He said, it was about 10 yards away and let out this terrifying scream, then shot off in the opposite direction. Mr. Jarman, who was 75 at the time, said he believed he saw the animal a second time when it attacked a goose on the far side of the lake by the railway line. He said, I heard the wild cat let out this screech again and I could tell it had the goose by a wing. All the other birds went over to the other side of the lake and geese were dive bombing the cat. Whatever's out there seems pretty dangerous. Bryce Norton, 2005 In one of the most famous sightings, a suspected big cat was photographed in a field opposite the Mason's Arms pub in Burford Road, Bryce Norton, in 2005. Yarton, 2005 Ian McCormick said he was driving home to Livingston Close in Yantun when he stopped at a level crossing in Sandy Lane. He described how a panther walked over the railway line right in front of him. Mr. McCormick said, it was definitely a big cat. It was 30 yards away and I had my headlights on full beam. It never even looked at me. Fawler, 2005 Eileen Russell was driving in Fawler, near Chalbury, when a large, black cat leaped across the road and forced her to slam on the brakes. She said, I wondered what the heck it was. I couldn't believe it. I was born here and I have never seen anything like it. I never believed the stories before, but I do now. It was all quite a shock. It was the size of an Alsatian, but longer. I was so amazed, I had to come home and tell everybody. I don't know if they believed it. One person asked if I had been drinking. Carswell, 2006 when looking out of her daughter's window, Jo Naylor spotted a cat-like creature stalking the fields near her house. When she snapped a photo of the animal it ran off into the distance. She said, I was looking out of the window and saw this black thing way off in the field. I watched it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then went to get my camera. When I got back, it was a lot closer and I managed to get a better look at it. It was just lolloping around the area. I took a picture and the flash sent it running up the field and through the woods. When I first saw the animal I thought it was a big dog, but the tail was much longer and it looks like a big black cat. Stonesfield Common, 2015 A few years later in 2015 another big cat was spotted but this time on Stonesfield Common near Charlbury. Dog walker Fraser Downer spotted a suspected big cat which was slinking slowly and purposefully through the long grass. He said, I watched in almost disbelief trying to fathom out what it was but there is simply no domestic cat big enough to match. It's not a tiger or lion, obviously, but I would liken it to Labrador or German Shepherd size or whatever that equates to in feline terms. I've heard stories from my village about black cats seen while deer stalking but it wasn't until I told my fiancé and we read an Oxford Mail article online that I decided to call in, for sight recording purposes really. Upper Arncott, 2017 Sightings of another big cat reappeared in 2017 when Lisa London says she saw a panther-like creature stroll across the road in front of her in broad daylight. She said, as I came out of the residential bit there were no other cars on the road. You go down a country road and what I saw was maybe 100 yards in front of me. It essentially strolled across the road from the right to the left then leapt into the bushes. It looked like a black panther, it was shiny black and there was no way it was a dog or a deer or a domestic cat, it was too big. Mrs. London estimated the creature was a meter tall and a meter and a half long. She added, it wasn't scary, it was beautiful. Carter Tun, 2020
011. Sisters out walking near RAF Bryes Norton believed they captured footage of the Beast of Burford. April Millin said, I just so happened to look up through the trees and I saw what I thought was a black Labrador dog. She explained the creature had a long tail and the sisters could see its shoulder blades as it walked. She added, it stopped and looked at us before walking away through some bushes. It was far enough in the field for us to not be able to see a domestic cat. This was a lot bigger, we could see its shiny black smooth looking coat. It happened so quickly and I had forgotten my phone so I asked my sister to film. There have been reports of sightings from at least six different locations in Cheshire over the last three or four months including in Ellesmere Port, Chester and Warrington. As well as physically seeing apparent big cats, people have also reported finding large paw prints as well as hearing growling noises close to where previous sightings have occurred. Below are all the reported sightings that have been covered recently by Cheshire Live. Chester Meadows, December. A delivery driver claimed he spotted an enormous big cat prowling in Chester. Richard Evans said he took the photograph of the mysterious creature as he was heading back into the city on December 13 at around 3.45 p.m. after delivering McDonald's. A delivery driver claims he spotted an enormous big cat he believes to be a puma in Chester, image, Richard Evans Puma Watch North Wales. The food courier said he pulled over and took the photo from the A51 road near Barrel Well Hill and Mount Place and believes what he saw was a puma. Richard reported the sighting to Puma Watch North Wales, telling them it was absolutely massive and like nothing he had ever seen before. The delivery driver told the group, I was out on my bike coming back into town after delivering someone's McDonald's when I spotted an enormous big cat across the river on the meadows. I pulled over to take a picture and tried to shout to a dog walker nearby but they couldn't hear me. It was prowling along the edge of the long grass then disappeared into the undergrowth. It was absolutely massive though, like nothing I've ever seen. Ince Marshes, Ellesmere Port Suspected big cat paw print found just 300 metres from where the reported sighting occurred in Ellesmere Port, image, Andy Puma Watch North Wales. A paw print was found near a suspected big cat sighting in Ellesmere Port. Andy, who did not want to give his surname, said he saw a large but slender animal at Ince Marshes in Ellesmere Port on December 16 at around 7.30 a.m. He said he reported for his job that morning and as he approached his work area he saw a mysterious creature which was cat-like and had a very long tail. Speaking to Cheshire Live, Andy said, it was about 7.30 a.m. when I reported for work and it was still dark and quite chilly. I saw a large animal in front of me and it appeared to have features of a cat. It was covered in fur, which wasn't shaggy, but very close to its body. What struck me was the length of its tail. It was a large animal, bigger than a Labrador and it definitely was not a dog. It was moving quite quickly, but I got the impression it wasn't moving at top speed. A boy was left shook up after being chased by a big cat during a bike ride with his dad in Doncaster. By Darren Burke Monday, the 23rd of May 2022, 7 a.m. Updated Monday, the 23rd of May 2022, 7.03 a.m. 11-year-old Harry Abonny was cycling in woods with Dad Martin when a large mystery animal began giving chase to the youngster. The pair escaped unscathed from the incident which appears to be the latest in a long line of big cat sightings in Doncaster in recent years. Sign up to our daily newsletter. This site is protected by RECAPTCHA and the Google Privacy Notice and Terms of Service apply. The father and son were biking through Black Car Plantation on Warning Tongue Lane near to Cantley and Branton on Wednesday evening when they were approached by the animal at around 7.30 p.m. Has there been another big cat sighting in Doncaster? Said Martin, we were riding on the trails that circumnavigate the woods, my son was riding about 30 yards in front of me. As we rounded a corner I saw out of the corner of my eye a large black animal sprinting out from the cover of the woods heading directly for my son, running diagonally to head him off. My first thought was of a large black dog as I wasn't geared up for expecting anything else. 
The woods are popular with dog walkers, so I quickly looked to my left to see if I could identify the owners of the dog. I was a bit concerned at the animal's intentions at this stage, but when I looked back to see if it was close to my son, the animal had disappeared. As I collected my thoughts, a few things struck me. Firstly, on reflection it looked like a very large cat and not a dog, there were no owners or other people in sight or earshot. The animal also had to traverse a short section of bracken and undergrowth to get to my son, so the only conclusion I could draw was that it saw me coming, aborted its attack and was laying up in the bracken. Pet dogs simply don't do that. The cover was not that dense so it must have been hiding well. My son at this stage knew nothing, saw nothing or heard nothing, so I told him to stop, have a rest and a drink, while I had a little look around in the undergrowth. Read more. Big Cat emerges from hedge and prowls outside Yorkshire McDonald's in footage. Admittedly I didn't want to get too close as a cornered cat would likely attack. So I encouraged my son to get back on his bike and ride away from the scene. I only told him later when we were out of the woods so not to cause alarm, but he was quite shook up when I told him. I didn't get any pictures as it happened really fast and my son's safety was my first concern. Obviously my son had no idea so he wasn't scared at the time, but I was quite alarmed. When I got in I did a quick search in Google and was really surprised to find out that this area is actually a hotbed for big black cat sightings, with one being spotted less than a mile away from our sighting last year. There have been a string of big cat sightings in Doncaster in recent years. In August last year, a female dog walker reported seeing a beast prowling in fields near Thorn. Another reported seeing a big black cat while driving off the M18 onto the M180 near to Thorn Golf Course. Earlier last year, footage emerged of a mystery animal in fields near Armthorpe. The clip showed a large, black animal stealthily moving through fields on the outskirts of the village in February. In 2019, Mum Jessica Clark spotted a huge five-foot black cat in fields near to the town's Keepmoat Stadium. When I realized what I'd seen, I just started panicking. It was massive and very muscular and definitely a big cat. It was quite frightening to see something like that up close, she said. In January 2017, Alan Tomlinson said he had seen a panther near to Junction 1 of the M180, close to Doncaster Services. He said, I've been doing this job for eight years, and have been driving since 1982 and I've seen foxes and things like that but I've never seen anything like that before. It was much, much bigger than any animal I've ever driven past. I only saw the back of it, but I knew it was a puma or a panther when I saw the size of its tail which was curled right round. That's how I knew it was a panther. Meanwhile, later the same year, trucker Graham Byram said he saw a trio of highways workers struggling to lift a huge dead animal into the back of a truck on the A1 near Harworth. Stories of big cats go back to the 1960s and 70s when it was legal to keep exotic animals as pets. But in 1976 the government introduced the Dangerous Wild Animals Act and while many owners gave their pets to zoos, rumors started that some people released their animals into the wild where their offspring still roam to this day. Big cat spotted moving through hedgerow leaves locals in a UK town on alert. A terrifying big cat spotted on the streets of Somerset has shocked residents who say the panther-like creature has been at large for years. In a casket, I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. Proud to support Ukrainians, a resident in Shepton Mallet claimed he spotted a large creature while driving through the town this week. Lee Brown said he witnessed the beast seemingly stalking its prey at the side of Old Wells Road. The latest sighting follows a number of similar reports of a large black cat seen by residents across Somerset in recent years. Mr Brown told Somerset Live, I was driving to work on Monday morning down the Old Wells Road in Shepton Mallet when I looked across to my right into a field that usually has deer. It was then I witnessed this big black animal moving across the hedgerow. I couldn't stop as I had vehicles behind me and it is a narrow road, 
but I originally thought it was a Labrador that had perhaps slipped its lead. I was looking around for an owner or somebody but I couldn't see anyone. As I continued forward, I noticed the way it was moving, it raised itself slightly and I could see a long tail. It was the sheer size of it and its features, I knew it wasn't a dog. Got dogs, it acted differently, it had a different face, especially the snout. I eventually pulled over to take a picture but lost sight of the creature. It looked like it was stalking prey. I know other people who have seen similar in the past 18 months. It wouldn't surprise me if there was some sort of creature out in the countryside. There is an abundance of food for them, deer, livestock, even pheasants. There have been at least four reported sightings of the big black cat over the past few years. It acted differently, it had a different face, especially the snout. I eventually pulled over to take a picture, but lost sight of the creature. It looked like it was stalking prey. I know other people who have seen similar in the past 18 months. It wouldn't surprise me if there was some sort of creature out in the countryside. There is an abundance of food for them, deer, livestock, even pheasants. There have been at least four reported sightings of the big black cat over the past few years. There have been a number of sightings of big There have been a number of sightings of big cats across Somerset in recent years. Image, Getty. A woman who lives on the outskirts of Paulton claimed she saw a big cat running through her garden in February 2020. Another woman, Sarah Comet of St. John's Road in Timsbury, also reported a sighting of the beast around the same time. Frank Tunbridge, a Somerset resident who had studied wildlife for decades, has received dozens of emails and calls reporting big cat sightings in recent years. The 74-year-old, who is particularly interested in exotic wildlife, said there was a wealth of evidence of big cats living in the UK, although there has been no clear confirmation of their existence here. Mr. Tunbridge said, to a large majority of the British public, the thought of big predatory cats similar in description to a black leopard or a puma stalking through our woods and fields is unbelievable. Yet to a witness who has observed one of these elusive and stealthy creatures at close quarters, the experience is unforgettable and it lives with them forever. So, are they out there, or are they not? The whole subject of big cats living and thriving within the UK has been rolling on for decades now without a satisfactory conclusion, even though the evidence for their existence is overwhelming. Facts such as confirmed DNA, deer killed and consumed in a certain way and big cat paw marks said the animals were most likely the result of big cats escaping from private collections and breeding throughout the British Isles. Mr. Tunbridge added that Somerset had now become a hot spot for sightings of these elusive creatures. There can be no doubt that over the years these animals are out there as a result of releases and escapes from private collections. They have bred and spread covertly throughout the British Isles to become naturalized and are now part of our diverse exotic wildlife. Many of these big cats are hybrids which are now breeding true to type. As many as 70% of reports I receive point to this fact in their description of the cat. Along with a couple of other counties in the southwest of England, Somerset has become a hot spot for reported sightings of these elusive felids. Tunbridge said the animals had become bolder since the COVID-19 lockdown, making sightings more frequent. However, he urged the public not to be afraid of the creatures. Since the start of lockdown, they have become bolder and are often seen closer to towns and villages, in some cases scavenging for food similar to urban foxes. The massive deer population in the area is their main source of prey, with the diminutive muntjac and larger roe deer ideal for them. As they say, where there is something to eat, there's something to eat it. Usually a spate of big cat reports seem to occur in one area for a short while, and then it moves on, often reappearing around a year later back in the same locality. Most of these cats seen are black, similar in some respects to a black leopard, but also some fawn-colored big cats occur with puma-like characteristics. 
These big cats are harmless towards people. They should be accepted as an interesting addition to the British wildlife scene. Locals on alert after big cat sighting leaves dog petrified to go to end of the garden. Local residents of a UK village are on high alert after a big cat sighting and say a pet dog is now petrified in its own garden. A resident of the village of Ashley near Hale close to the Cheshire border said they had seen a black, shadowy animal while walking to the local pub for a drink. The local, named Cassie, said her neighbor's dog has been left in fear of venturing alone to the end of the garden as a result. Proud to support Ukrainians. Find out how we're helping. The witness initially thought she had seen a dog. However, however the different color from her neighbor's golden Labrador prompted a discussion with another local, who suggested it may have been a big cat. Speaking to the website Puma Watch North Wales, Cassie said, We were walking to the pub and in the bushes adjoining our farm and the neighboring property we saw a black shadowy animal which was about the size of my neighbor's golden Labrador. Miss Cassie said, I dismissed it as the dog though the color was different. When I got to my neighbor's gate I saw her and her dog in the garden and said I thought I'd just saw her dog in the bushes so was surprised to see it back in the garden so quick. She said her dog hadn't left her side. My sister whom I was walking with then said she saw it too, and it was a black cat. I said that's what I thought, but had discounted it. My neighbor said she thinks she'd see a black cat too, and said her dog is petrified of going to the far end of their garden. We concluded it was a mysterious black cat that we'd be more vigilant to catch by camera. In 2021, more than 20 sightings of a big cat or puma-like animals were reported to Puma Watch North Wales from the Cheshire area. These sightings included footage of a possible puma stalking through fields in Frodsham and a big cat on the Chester Meadows. Last month, the UK government set out the steps it takes to investigate such instances after the Welsh government announced reports of wild big cats are taken seriously and investigated thoroughly. A spokesperson for the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, DEFRA, said, if Natural England, NE, were presented with credible information to suggest there was a big cat living wild and posing a threat to agriculture, such as predating livestock, it would work with DEFRA to take appropriate action. Evidence would be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Natural England would analyze any evidence presented to them, at first internally and take expert external advice as and when it's needed. Likewise, if any were presented with credible information to suggest there was a big cat living wild and posing a threat to public health and safety, it would report the matter to the local police. Rare cases of escapees, such as a lynx from Dartmoor Zoo in July 2016, tend to involve the local authority as the escape is likely to have resulted from a breach of the Keeper's Dangerous Wild Animals Act 1976 license or zoo license. In all cases reported to Natural England in recent years, there has been no credible evidence supplied that would justify any action by defra home office police Puma Watch North Wales has offered explanations as to why such animals may be roaming the British countryside. When big cats were banned as pets in the 1970s, it was legal to release them into the countryside to avoid expensive rehoming costs. Owners from across the UK travelled to areas like Wales to release their cats in the remote environment, where small A terrified woman ran for safety to a nearby house after an encounter with a panther-like big cat at South Cerny Lakes. In a report to police, the woman said the black beast was massive and did not look like a dog when she saw it near Wild Moorway Lane and Cherry Lake. She ran away from the animal to seek sanctuary at a nearby house, before returning home to alert the police to the sighting. She told the police she didn't know if she had overthought the whole thing but was very scared at the time and legged it the opposite way and someone let her into a house so she could calm down for a couple of minutes. Gloucestershire police have had multiple big, Black cat sightings reported to them over the years, 
with witnesses claiming they saw a creature larger than a large dog and similar in appearance to a puma or panther. One came from a witness in the forest of Dean who had previously lived in the USA and regularly had big cats and bears on her property. She said she was 100% certain it was a large, wild feline. She described the beast that crossed a path near Speech House as a black cat larger than an Alsatian dog, with a long tail. See what's happening near you. 23 comments. Enter your postcode for local news and info. A large black cat was spotted in Gloucestershire, stock in A sighting was at Elmore, near Stonebench, when the caller claimed they saw a large, black cat on the main road that jumped into a hedge as she drove past. The latest sighting was from a man who saw a jet black cat the size of a puma in the fields near his home in Winchcombe in the Cotswolds. He believed the creature to be three feet long with a concave back similar to a puma or a cheetah and watched as it bounded across the field and out of sight. Later he found the decapitated body of a deer near where the cat was seen. The incidents were among those revealed by a Freedom of Information request to Gloucestershire Constabulary for details of reported big cat sightings over the past five years. Gloucestershire's resident big cat expert Frank Tunbridge said there was a surge of big cat sightings last autumn in the Forest of Dean and other areas. These detailed and often emotional accounts provide the facts of the existence of the British big cat now being part of our wildlife in the UK, he said. Cat believed to be a panther has recently been witnessed by numerous people around Hungary. Known as the Hungarian Black Panther, the animal was first spotted in the town of Kiskunulas in mid-December. Hungarian police investigated the report, and while they didn't see the animal for themselves, they did find some footprints that they believe it left behind. A video of the alleged Black Panther and photos of the footprints can be viewed here. After the sighting in Kiskunulas, several people have reported seeing the same creature roaming around Hungary. It was witnessed in Kekskmet, Balasog, Kenyul, close to Solnok, and in Kerex End. The sighting in Kiskunulas included a report from a farmer claiming that his animals had been mauled. Are the witnesses seeing a black panther? Then on January 10th of this year, the animal was spotted again, but this time it was in Tisatani near Solnok. While the footage was taken at a distance away from the animal, it's hard to determine whether or not it was an actual panther. This most recent video has been provided by the newspaper Blick where it can be viewed. If the creature is in fact a black panther, despite there being none missing from any zoos in Hungary, it needs to be protected and taken care of very soon as it can't tolerate sub-zero temperatures and may have a problem hunting for food. In an interview with 24.hu, Zoltan Hanger, who is the press officer of the Budapest Zoo and Botanical Garden, explained that the creature could be in a lot of danger, if the animal did not come to us from Africa, but escaped from somewhere, and even if people raised him illegally, fed him, and gave him a warm place, the animal is now in danger. These animals cannot survive the cold weather in December, and since it has probably never hunted in its life, it may have serious problems finding food. Is a black panther roaming around Hungary? With that being said, it's still unclear whether the creature is a black panther. It could be, but we would have to check where the camera was positioned, from what distance the animal came, and scale it. If the animal is a black panther, it is definitely a runaway animal and this is not its habitat, Endra SOS, who is the head veterinarian at the Budapest Zoo, said in an interview with the radio station InfoRadio. SOS went on to say, and if someone encounters it, they should report it immediately so experts can take care of it, adding, the panther does not consider humans as prey, but pets, including dogs and cats, are. It is very important that we take special care of our animals in the affected areas and, of course, of ourselves. A hikers have reported being stared at by a black creature they believe could be a big cat. The hillwalkers said the creature stared at them for several minutes before disappearing into the gorse bushes on Mole Huradug, near Dyserf. One of the walkers reported the encounter to Puma Watch North Wales, a group set up to document and investigate sightings. She said, it stood staring at us for a couple of minutes then it ran into the gorse. There were four of us, two couples in our 70s hill walking. 
The encounter occurred at around 12.30 p.m. on Monday, March 28. Tony Jones, Puma Watch founder, said, while it's the first sighting reported to us from Dysurf, two sets of paw prints have previously been found in the immediate area while another was found less than a mile away near Melodon. He added that there had been other sightings of big cats only a few miles by the side of Dysurf. Mr. Jones added, towards the coast, a black panther with a long tail was spotted on the golf course adjacent to the beach in Rill, back in September 2021. A few months earlier, in May, police were called after a huge jet black cat was spotted lurking in the bushes near Prestatin train station. There have also been multiple sightings a few miles along the coast in the Talaka area, as well as near Abergel. In the opposite direction, just a few miles further inland from Dysurf, big cats have been spotted at Ruralt Hill and in St. Asaph. Mystery black creature spotted in Dysurf. The latest sighting has been added to Puma Watch's interactive map. Tony added, big cats such as Pumas are solitary with a hunting range of dozens of miles. They are mostly spotted in Snowdonia and the Corrigian Hills but reports of sightings in urban locations some distance from these areas are becoming more frequent. Just last month, we shared a report of a big cat in Leamington Spa. While we focus on North Wales and the surrounding areas, we often receive reports from further afield and have shared sightings from as far out as Scotland and Cornwall. As seen with Landundo's now famous goats, who have taken to roaming the town's deserted streets during the coronavirus lockdown.